By any stretch of the imagination, the front lever constitutes an advanced calisthenic skill. And in my own journey towards learning it, one of the biggest struggles I've had is bridging the gap between different front lever progressions. So today I wanna to go through an exercise that I've used to amazing effect in my own road to front lever. I call it the pseudo front lever row, and it takes the principles of leaning on increased bent arm dynamic work rate to boost straight arm static capacity. This is something that we know works well with the planche, a static skill that can be bolstered by the really well-known dynamic exercise of the pseudo planche push-up. In fact, that's why I got the idea to try out the pseudo front lever row in the first place. This is probably the best front lever progression that you're not doing. So quick tutorial on the pseudo front lever row, let's get into it. How you doing Kelly Crowd? Welcome back to the channel that makes calisthenics simple. So the first question that may come to mind is, is the pseudo front lever row even useful? Are we just overcomplicating the inverted row, a classic when it comes to horizontal pulling? And the answer to this question actually brings us to the first form cue when it comes to this exercise, which is around downward rotation of the scapula. Inverted rows build phenomenal horizontal pulling strength. And broadly speaking, the front lever is a horizontal pulling skill. The thing is, the more advanced our goals become, the more specific our progressive exercises need to be. And while inverted rows focus on retraction at the scapula, the pseudo front lever row targets downward rotation, a subtle change, but one that makes a world of difference. The setup is really simple. All you'll need are some gymnastics rings, and I recommend setting them up so that your starting position leaves you at roughly a 60 degree lean. Making sure our elbows do not flare out to the side, we want to be pulling to our waist, which we can see directly translates to the force we'll need to drive in the full front lever. A mistake we want to avoid is pulling to the waist, but then allowing the hands to end up over the chest during the eccentric. The premise we're looking to follow here is that in our minds, we should be envisaging as if we're performing a full front lever pull-up. By this logic, we also need to make sure that we maintain full body tension. The pseudo front lever roll will only translate to the full front lever if our intention is clear in our minds. So we want that straight line from head to toe and we don't want to flop through the eccentric, keep it slow and controlled. This is an exercise that I found pairs extremely well with the tuck front lever raise and banded isometric hold and I've already seen great results from doing it. And it's an exercise that I personally haven't really heard about before, but if you wanna see how I'm incorporating the pseudo front lever row into my own training, then you can check out this video right here. 